Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a movie review. Now, I originally done this one on January the 15th of this year, but now I'm going to be reviewing it again. And I'm not kidding, guys. This is a redo of something that I used to love back then. And it's on a movie from this year, which is going to be on the last Hotel Transylvania movie, Hotel Transylvania 4, Transformania, or for the original title, Hotel Transylvania, Transformania. So, I first heard about this movie back in 2019, when that was, when that was coming out in December 2021. I was originally not excited to see this one, because at the time that I hated Hotel Transylvania during summer vacation. And when I heard about the dark film coming to television, I... At first, I refused to watch this movie, but then when this movie was on Disney Channel, I just had to watch it. And, excuse me. I watched it. Then I liked it at first, but now I really love it. Because last year, when I heard about the four film coming out to theaters, but instead it was released to Amazon Prime Video, I was going to give this movie a chance. After I loved Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation, when I only saw 1 and 3, 1 and 3 last year. But then I saw the first 3 as well, starting with Transylvania 2. And then finally, when this movie came out, I used to love this movie back then, after I saw it 2 months ago. But then my opinion changed in March. Cause my thoughts will come to you in just a moment. So let's get on to let's get into the story. So the story of Hotel Transylvania, Transformania, or Hotel Transylvania Four plays out like this. It's where um in the opening scene, Johnny plays the does an opening ad for the film for the hotel's 125th anniversary, where um they were having this party. And Drag was going to retire to give the hotel to Mavis and Johnny. But then after this party was going on, Drag and Johnny transformed themselves while Johnny was a monster. And then Johnny and then Drag was a human. And then they go out to Africa where Drag gets attacked by mosquitoes and piranhas and all that stuff. And once the the rest of the draft pack came. They went to um. They went to the place where they found Drac and Johnny. And so they had to do whatever they can to transform, the draft pack into their, original bodies, and then when they came back, Drac was so mad when the hotel got burnt. What a bad idea. And that is the story of this movie. And that's it. And. I'm not going to go too harsh on this movie. Just like I did with the Dark film years ago. But what do I think of this movie? Honestly. I used to love this movie back then. But then I realized. Back in March 2022. Of this year. I just. I was starting to lose interest in this movie. I thought Hotel Transylvania 4 was just okay, in my opinion. It wasn't great, wasn't the best, wasn't terrible either. But my personal favorite Hotel Transylvania movie in the series would have to be Hotel Transylvania 3. I love that movie. It makes me want to cool off on a hot summer day in the pool and cool off on the and just relax on the beach, which I love doing those. And there were some scenes that made me laugh, and some of it did not. The The part where Drac got bitten by piranhas was not funny at all. It was just dumb. And there was also this one scene where Johnny turns himself to a monster and he tried to attack. That That scene made me cry. Like... 
This was also a sad movie as well. Because of how Johnny was very serious. And also after Hotel Transylvania Transformania. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. It's supposed to be coming to theaters. Not on streaming services. And we're all looking forward to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. Which is going to be amazing. And we don't really need to see a fifth Hotel Transylvania. Because it will become the next Ice Age for sure. Because... Sony Animation is going to get better with adult animated movies. And maybe some more animated movies as well. Like, I was even excited when this... I was even excited when this board film was coming out. Like, I cannot believe this. Now that I'm 20, I adore and love all the three Hotel Transylvania movies. And I gotta say, Dre is the... Dre... Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation would, would have to be the best in the series. And that is one of my favorite sequels of all time next to T2 Judgment Day. next Or next to Terminator 2 Judgment Day, should I say. But the cast, like Selena Gomez, Andy Samberg, they did a good job. Keegan-Michael Key and David Spade, Brenda Satcher... Molly Shannon and Catherine Hahn did a good, good job. But I love Catherine Hahn in the movie Step Brothers, which Step Brothers is my favorite. And I liked Molly Shannon in Bad Teacher, though. And I liked David Spade and Tommy Boy in um, the Grown Ups movies. But this this could be the last hot dog, the, the last, this could be the last, last Sony Pictures movie to use the 2014 Columbia Pictures logo. While the others used the 2021 Columbia Pictures logo. Starting with Escape Room Tournament of Champions. Venom with Every Carnage. A Journal for Jordan. And Spider-Man No Way Home which crossed over a billion dollars. Which was freaking well deserved. And I can't wait for the blue eye of that to come out. Which I'm definitely going to be getting. But Brian Hill did, did, a, did a good job. I won't be too harsh on him, but I love I love Adam Sandler as the the main drag. But to me, after after realizing that the the Hotel Transylvania series was just awesome, I'm just gonna I'm gonna agree with you guys. The first three movies with Adam Sandler are definitely a million times better. Than that fourth one. Like I can definitely agree. The last Hotel Transylvania. Was a letdown. It was. And and no. I'm not renting on this movie like I did. But. Like I said. Hotel Transylvania 3 would have to be the best in the series. Like I have to agree with you guys. And it's also my second favorite sequel next to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Which I love Terminator 2 Judgment Day. It is like my number one favorite sequel of all time. That I must adore and love. So overall. How Tall Transylvania Transformania gets a 3 out of 5. I didn't hate it. It was just okay best. Although, this one had nothing to do with the first three movies. Like, I prefer one and three over this one. And for Hotel Transylvania 2, it's still a good sequel. It's a great sequel. Like, I was, I was saying Hotel Transylvania 2 gets a 5 out of 5. But, I wouldn't give this a hard, though. But, I'm, I might do the Hotel Transylvania movies again, but on Halloween. I wouldn't count the fourth one as a Halloween movie because of all the mismatched bodies and stuff. But the but the first three Transylvania movies have great, awesome soundtracks, which I love the soundtracks. And Love is Not Hard to Find, it was a pretty good one. But I prefer I See Love and Flow. I love those two songs. And Monster, oh my god, this it, it is the best song I've heard on there. 
And of course, I'm in love with the monster, which that was a decent one. So yeah, I prefer Alm Sandler over Brian Holt, even though I'm not going to go too harsh on him. But the directors did a good job. Jennifer Kluska and Derek Drummond of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, they did a great job. But Gennady Tarbersky from Dexter's Laboratory did a phenomenal job with the first three movies. And I prefer him over these two directors. But at the beginning of the Sony Columbia logo, Sony has bangs. And then Blobby was replaced by the Torch Lady. Which I prefer the original Columbia Pictures logo with the bat. Which the Torch Lady turns into a bat. I like that better than the one with the with the Blobby. And I was when I was disappointed about Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation back then. I was disappointed that the Columbia Pictures logo was not shown on there. If they could just re-release it. If they would re-release the first three movies together. I would definitely go see those. Because I've never seen a Hotel Transylvania movie in the theater before. But only time will tell. Only time will tell when Sony's going to get better with adult animated movies. And a bunch of other projects that, that, that they had to make sometimes. But after I... Love the living heck out of these three movies, and love the, and I used to love the four from back then. I discovered a new film series, The Expendables. I love The Expendables. Like, I would say the first two are the best, would have to be the best in the series. And for The Expendables three, it's a good sequel, but that's not The Expendables we're talking about. We're talking about the last Hotel Transylvania movie. Hotel Transylvania 4. So, whatever you do, stick with the first three movies from Alan Sandler. They're so fun. They're enjoyable. And they're also fun and spooky to watch on Halloween as well. But the fourth one, don't count this as a Halloween one. Or if you do count this as a Halloween movie, then that's fine with me. But if you like Hotel Transylvania 4, I respect your opinion. I didn't hate it, but it was just, like I said, okay, best. Thanks for watching. See you later.